It is time for the league review. I need a grave digger. I always like to sit on that a little bit and wait before I do a league review. It generally changes throughout the league. There's a lot of patches throughout the league, etc. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the league, my thoughts on it, and rating it. So obviously, first impressions to the Necropolis zone mechanic. I, I think this is the way it should have been throughout the entire game, including maps. It was honestly, like, this is also where it was the most annoying in a way, because while, while going fast through the campaign, don't always want to, like, look at what the monsters, what monster has eight additional projectiles. The way it worked in maps was that you clear one area or clear a lot of the monsters in one area, and the next zone is more likely to be buffed. So if you're doing it in succession, like, you have a decent chance for, like, the Nameless here, good rewards. It makes things hard, but it's also quite rewarding, and it is very deadly. But a downside is that it is pretty much unskippable. We did have a lot of nerfs related to this. We have the Divine Herb fishing, the Nameless Seer thing. All of this would have been fixed by it just being like the campaign where you actually had to clear at least 60% of an area for it to give you good rewards, right? And, th and then it would have been fine. And then you would get Divine Herbs now and again and the economy would probably be a bit different. Graveyard crafting during the campaign and stuff, at least for me early on, since you couldn't choose base types then, was just fishing for jewelry and random weapons. So it was just alking items, basically. And that was fine. Like, in my opinion, they overbuffed it. All they needed to do was let us choose the base type. That was the only really, really bad thing. Because very early on, we saw, like, how we can guarantee tier 1 movement speed and tier 1 chaos rest, for example, right? Fractured on one item. We saw that very early on. But then we wouldn't get to choose the base type. We would only get to choose, is it armor, armor evasion, etc.? Uh, and that was awful. So what I thought they were going to do was, okay, we'll let you bury a base type with it. Like, you find the base type in the game, you want item level 86 two-tone boots, you need to find item level 86 two-tone boots, right? Not this item editor stuff. That was way too powerful. I don't like that part of it. It feels like cheating almost. You can just, like, with 90% certainty, get an insane craft. So there's a few things that I really dislike about this. I don't mind powerful items, but it's too powerful, too easy. Uh, and what I do mind specifically is two fractures should never exist on an item. Fractured influenced items should never exist. Thankfully, they can't be elevated. But yeah, fractured influenced items should never exist. Fractured influenced items with multiple influences on them, which is insane. To be fair, a lot of these are quite fun and really not the end of the world because it's just for one leak. This is clearly not going core. But yeah, I mean, these are still things that I'm like, please, like, maybe avoid doing this in the future. Kind of crazy that people are deterministically and regularly making bows with triple tier 1 Ellie damage, tier 1 attack speed, tier 1 crit chance, and crit multi. And sometimes being devastated that it's projectile speed instead of crit multi. It's like, oh no, I only made a bow that would normally be mirrored by the entire economy, but now it's one stat off. Like, that that's crazy to me, right? Like, we've never had this strong items. It is way stronger than Harvest, way stronger than Recombinators. And I hate how the League mechanic makes me feel, like, the crafting part. It makes me feel dumb. I sit there, like, first, it took me a long time to learn. Um, and I am somebody that puts a lot of hours into the game. I do know life the game, and people are like, imagine how we feel. I get it. Very tedious to do, very tedious to craft. I think I've only crafted five times the entire League mechanic. I get that you can craft for profit and stuff like that, but I've, like... Honestly, it's at least less than 10 times the entire league mechanic because it takes me so long. It takes me an hour, hour and a half per craft. I think I've got it down to 40 minutes now, but it's a long time. Then the uh, Necropolis league mechanic stuff. That stuff is awesome. I think it would be uh, so much better if, um, well, not Divine Orb fishing, but like if we still had Divine Orbs as a reward, not something that's like one every 500 maps. I'm sad that that part got nerfed so much. But either way, I do love that stuff. All flames. It's a little sad that got nerfed as hard enough to stay beyond part. But either way, I love all this stuff. And being able to change monster types, great. That should go core. In fact, that needs to go core or tier 17s are fucked on hardcore. Because there's three monsters or four monsters that you just won't do on hardcore. And you would just be skipping them up otherwise. Even with zero damage mods, by the way. And the tier 17s are already held to roll. But yeah, those are my first impressions of the Necropolis League mechanic. The Atlas tree, Saxons, gone. Scarabs, big part of the main Atlas strategy mechanic, and they're way more interesting now. They drop so much. Now, there are a lot of the super basic ones that are maybe too basic and a little bit pointless, like incursion spawns and stuff like that. Like, I feel like 
I don't know. I don't know if people are using them. Maybe people are, but at least I've been fully spiking into any mechanic I'm farming. As expected with such massive changes, some old strats become dead or worse and others become way better. So there's a big imbalance in Atlas strategies. I was even feeling at a certain point where if I wasn't abusing something crazy, the maps felt kind of dead. Although they have improved pack size a lot, which was very noticeable. Uh, but like, I felt like I was playing the game wrong when I wasn't abusing anything, which isn't particularly good. The Scarab nodes feel pretty much mandatory. I wouldn't like this many Scarab nodes. Um, I also don't like that the league mechanic has its own nodes on the tree. I don't think that works for a mechanic like this. I think the only thing league mechanic that is core should have on the tree should be a change to the way you approach it. Should not have anything increasing the reward and stuff. It should just be like, well, I like doing it this way, right? A great example here is the harvest crop rotation. Something like that is okay and great for the way the league mechanic is. Like one point that changes the way the league mechanic works. All these nodes feel mandatory. I think all my trees have almost all the lean mechanic nodes because I absolutely need them because the crafting is so imbalanced and overpowered. I absolutely love that we have three Atlas trees. It's so cool. I've still been respecting loads, but oh my god, I love being able to have like two or three different strategies that I'm farming at the same time. Literally the best thing ever. The the core game is in such a cool spot. I absolutely love that. Um, there's a lot of things in the core game that are a bit broken right now as well, but I do think we're heading in a good direction. Like I'm very excited about a lot of things. The tree, however, does feel tighter than ever because, like I said, the Scarab nodes and stuff like that. The Nico nodes, I, I bet they're tempted to nerf those, but I love... Like, I don't use it always on my super in-game character because I'm so strong, but I love that I can pick up some extra power. They do become kind of needed in tier 17s. It's very necessary. If they had removed that before launch, tier 17s would be literal hell on hardcore. Like, I'm absolutely building with that in plan because it's so strong, but it's so needed. Like, tier 17s are fucked. We're going to talk more about that later. Also, it's so good UI that you can, like, rename them and change them from the map device. Amazing. And getting a 100% chance, like, the autonomy or a player agency we have right now or what we want to farm and how we want to farm it is honestly, like, what makes this league so fucking amazing. Like, that part, literally, oh my god. If everything else was just nailed, like, tier 17s were good and the league mechanic was, was perfect and stuff, this would probably be the best league ever. Because the game state in so many areas is amazing. Endgame and Uber, not so much. Master missions are gone. There's no longer a thing. So much less micromanaging for that. Tier 17 maps are being added. I love tier 17 maps. However, they have so many faults. They are very good and they're very fun boss fights. But the unmodifiable maps were awful, right? There's been so many people could not run these maps on any build. Some of them are just not runnable on hardcore. A lot of the gripes I have with tier 17s will probably be hardcore specific. They quickly patched that to be modifiable with chaos orbs. I feel like they are balanced to that you should be able to run them white. Um, the danger level of everything, they're nowhere near tier 16s in difficulty. It's like you're like, the other maps are like here and then tier 17s are up here and Ubers are actually here. Now, a part of the reason for that is also I'm so familiar with the Ubers. I know exactly what they do, how to counter each of them. Uh, I'm very familiar with them. So boom, Ubers, very, very easy. Tier 17s are new, so they will be harder. But even after having done them quite a lot, I am rolling tier 17s a lot. And there's so many mods that I'm like, yeah, if I if I roll this, I'm instantaneously dead because this mod is so insane. And some of the monsters are so insane that I have to all flame them. So if we don't have access to all flames next league, they have to be balanced. It is the crush claw completely. Oh my God. It's the only close call pretty much of how to my character. The revenants should barely be in the game. I hate corpse explosions. I cannot believe they added another new corpse explosion mechanic this league. Um, like the, the new Nemesis mod that just randomly corpse explodes. First off, I get PTSD. I literally, I'm getting like, oh, oh, explosions, corpse explosions. Oh, oh no, oh no. Um, I hate it. I literally like, it's like gamer shell shock. There's like these blood spitters. They, they, they spit like a black blood thing. That thing is crazy. And that's even without multi or anything. And, and like I said, the revenants. And then there's a lightning golem. It's like a, yeah, little lightning golem. I think they were usually in Delve. Those four monsters are like, yeah, you see those, you die. You turn a corner and you die. Steel Mage was like, you'd need to all flame those. They're extremely profitable for those that can run it. So it does create a bit of a new divide. Like I can run them, but I'm noticing a lot of people in my chat feel like they're divided. Like maybe they are like, you know, POE middle class, right? They are like, you know, normally running Ubers and in buses, but they're not quite at like the, the fub gun, the, the Dan, the Ben level, right? But now there's, there's a very big divide, I think.
Uh, and tier 17s being the way to unlock the five slot map device, in my opinion, was a mistake. Slap it back on Legion. There's no reason for that to be on tier 17s with the current difficulty of it. No reason at all. And it, it thematically really fits on Legion. Just put it back on Legion. No reason not to. Fragment acquisition and stuff like that. I think they should drop at least two fragments uh, and three with well-rolled modes. So two or three. I do like the uniques and stuff that drop from them. I would love to see even more uniques that drop from them. Like different uniques that you can target farm. Slap like three or four different ones. They don't have to be guaranteed. Just three or four different ones that I can drop that are just exciting things uh, that are powerful. They could even make them, you know, relatively like lower than the current drop rate of one right now. But since there's four, it'll go up slightly. Um, but different ones. Uh, I think that'd be cool. I do have a separate video discussing this, but uh, normal bosses and uber bosses are both kind of fucked right now. There's not a super great reason. Thankfully, there are some reasons of I'm ubers. But normal bosses are, they, they feel really bad to farm. Balance changes for this league. Early game balance is in the gutter. Has been for a long time. Is that super necessary? Not necessarily. It does suck for me as a content creator that like, uh, it's very boring starters. Uh, and you have some experimental starters. This time we have the Archmage. There, there wasn't a very different starter meta than normal. But the end game meta, every league for like the past year almost, has been very different. So they've done really good with that. That even with not many balance changes, they've been managing to basically create a whole new end game meta. Um, and I do think they are purposefully leaving some build comfort every league that people are like, yeah, well, you have all this new stuff that you can try. This is way more powerful. Pen and Spread will one shot everything in the game. Still does. But you have some old build comfort if you want to. Like, Cock DD is insanity. It's new. DD got buffed this patch. I like the new Cock DD. That's cool in a very different way to play it, but old DD still being this strong, eh, a little bit boring. Juicing Endgame is easier and more hassle-free than ever. Like, you can very, like, Alkin Go is very viable in a lot of strategies. Um, very cool, like, uh, essence strategies. And a lot of things have, like, strategies behind them. Like, you take the uh, big essence nodes that buffs the boss. Buffs the boss with essences, but you do Volcano. And it doesn't have a downside, right? Then that's really cool. So now you're very incentivized to have a lot of Volcano Master, even buy Volcano Master of others. Creates a very cool economy. It feels like a very fresh new game in Atlas that has, still hasn't been figured out. We're still seeing abuse strategies. We're still seeing new cool things that people are discovering. And this is obviously a bit of a downside too, with things being nerfed and you're feeling like whack-a-mole and you're being punished for not abusing early. So that leads to like in a very broken economy in softcore. Headhunter is at 10 divines. Calendar's touch at 3. And there's not that many chase items left in the game. Hardcore doesn't have this problem because we are dying left, right, and center. Um, it's the deadliest league we have ever seen. And if you haven't died this league, you are an absolute god. Good job, myself. Oh, sorry, I'm just really proud that while doing tier 17s and Ubers, this league I haven't died. It's such a hard league, seeing all my friends die. And yeah, the item editor. Boring as fuck. Don't like it. Bring Recombinators back instead of this, please. And and making Mirror where the items this easy is, is kind of crazy to me. Uh, if people like it, I don't mind a league like this now and again. Like, not everything has to be custom tailored for me. Uh, so if people love this, that's great. Base game has just been going up, 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 and I've been enjoying it more and more. But I would say that <laughs> I'm enjoying the game in spite of a lot of things right now. So I still, I think I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Not my favorite league mechanic, but the base game is so good. So there's quite a lot of things to say that are like a 3 out of 10, and I really hate. There's so many things that are out of 10 out of 10 that pulls it up, right? It's a very... Bipolarly, I don't know. It's a very, I have very strong feelings about the league. Like some things are really awesome. Some things are really shit. I hope that they make normal bosses better. Slap like Omni and Ashes. But first of all, if they're going to stay on Ubers, buff them back up. The normal bosses should all have two cool items that drop. The Ubers should all have a lot of good items that drop. And another thing that I have a big problem with, tier zeros in the game. Tier zeros should all be good. Now things like Lionize, Glare, and... Well, Soul Taker at least gets used. But like Lionize, Glare, and Essentia, Sanguis, Binos, stuff like that. The fact that you could probably double or triple the damage of all of these uniques and they would not be anywhere near Mage Blood in price is crazy, right? So you could probably make Lionize, Glare a 2,000 PDPS bow and I don't think it would come anywhere close to Mage Blood in price. And... Some people will be like, well, shouldn't we have filler tier zero uniques? No, in my opinion, we should not have filler tier zero uniques. I think every tier zero unique should be a hero drop. Should be a hero drop where you are like, I have dropped a tier zero. I have won. I have won. Every tier zero, they are so rare. You should feel like you won no matter what tier zero drop, whether it's the claw, the dagger, the belt, or the other belt, or the ring, whatever. There's like 15, 20 tier zeros. They should all be absolutely insane in my opinion. They don't have to be literal mage blood level, 
but they should be at least headhunter level. I don't think that's insane. Tier zeros being chase items. The more chase items this game has gotten, the more I've enjoyed the game. For sure. By a lot. And for hardcore right now, the game has a lot of chase items. It is so fun. There's so many things I can drop. So when I was doing the unique farming, I was like, oh, 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 this is poggers. Uh, I was having so much fun breaking the game with that. Honestly, I was going to give the League of Seven. It might get an eight. I'm still having so much fun. I'm streaming like 10 or 11 hours and playing another four or five hours off stream. I'm neglecting my family for this league, right? Um, I'm seeing them in the morning hanging out and then just playing so much. It's great. On a serious note, just I, I am really having fun this league, but it has so many things that are fixable and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next league is going to look like. I'll probably be quite playing quite a lot more and trying out another build or two. Maybe trying some, maybe trying to see a dog shit build, how good it can be with the item editor, like Essence Train or Bleed. I don't know. We'll see. But either way, that was my video on the lean mechanic. I felt like I had a lot to say. Let me know if you like these reviews. This is, yeah, seven or eight out of 10. Honestly, it's hard for me. There's so many bad things, so many good things. So it's a little muddled. But either way, let me know what you think. Some of you like the video. More importantly, try to die less than I do.